Okay, y'all. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to wash your wig. This is one of my old wigs. This is, oh, child, this mug is so old. This is when I first started. So, this is probably like a year and some change old. Like, I, um, I used this wig to, like, practice my little stitching or whatever with my sewing machine. But it's, it's really old and the fronts will need to be replaced and everything. But... You know, I'm going to just work with it and just, you know, we're going to take this and we're going to transform her. So, the first thing you want to do when you are about to wash your wig or before you wash your wig is comb your or brush your wig out completely. If you got a longer wig, you know, start at the ends and then work your way up to the top. And it's very... It's, it's better to put your wig on a mannequin stand or, you know, a canvas head or whatever and pin it down and then comb it out. But for me, I'm just about to just do it all over the uh, sink all in one. So I'm holding it, holding it like this. And then, and like, I got a grip on it. Let me see. Y'all can see. I got a grip on the wig so it ain't going to go nowhere. And you just brush it. You just brush it or comb it, whatever you want to do. And you make sure you get all the little kinks and knots and make sure you get all that stuff out of it. Because if you were to put the wig in there and it still got that, those kinks and stuff in there, the wig will be matted. And that's a whole nother story. You don't want that. So just get all the um, knots and stuff out of the wig. And make sure you keep your part. Like when you're um, brushing it out and combing it, if you got a middle part, keep that's where you will hold it. If you got a side part, that's where you will hold the wig and you will brush it down. Or, um, yeah, brush it down so you can get all the kinks and stuff out of it so it can be um, tangle free. So you can easily just run your fingers through it and it's not snagging nowhere. So that's what you want. Okay. Then you're going to put that to the side. You're going to get like some... I'm about to rinse this out because it got hair in it. And then what you want to do is you want to turn your water on warm. You don't want it to be too hot because, I mean, you don't want to burn yourself or nothing. But make sure it's warm enough. Not too hot, not too cold. Just, just warm water. That'll do fine. And then you're gonna fill it up this is the shampoo that i use is um truly relaxed hair with pantene it got coconut oil and jojoba oil it's a moisturizing shampoo and i'm almost gone <laughs> almost out but what you want to do is you want to put a little bit of that shampoo into the water it don't have to be a lot and you're just going to use your hand and kind of mix it up I'll mix it up just like that because you want to dilute the shampoo because you don't want that strong uh this really like stripping your hair and making it extra dry and then you're gonna have to deep condition for a very long time so you just want it to um just strip it just slightly so just dilute the shampoo because you don't really need all that and you're gonna start at the ends you know still holding your part or wherever your part is you're still holding that so you're not just about to just plop it all in there. You, you don't want that. So you just dip it in there slowly. And you kind of like work your hands in it too. And kind of like see what I'm doing. Hopefully I'm explaining this right. But um, you just dip it in there. And you kind of work in the water and the shampoo mix. You kind of work in that end. You starting at the ends first so that because they're... That's the first part that'll get tangled, the ends or like the back of the neck. So you kind of want to work the uh, shampoo and the water mix into that part first. And then um, when you got that good and saturated, you see there's a little knot right there. But you work that in with your fingers. You don't need no combs or nothing. Your fingers are your best tools. So just continue to work that in. And then when you feel like you got a good, um, you know, slippage or whatever, then you're going to just dip the whole wig in. 
and you're just gonna saturate all of the hair even the frontal or the closure part you want to get everything saturated from the uh the little mixture or whatever And you can use a brush if you want to. Since this wig, since this hair is different from the hair that I have now, I don't really have, um, well, I do got a little control of the hair, but it's still, it ain't the best quality hair, but it's I, right, it's doable. So I'm probably gonna need a brush to really comb through, but I don't know, we're gonna see how this works. But you still just finger, finger detangling and kind of like dipping it into the water. Water is getting dirty because of the product and stuff that was in this wig. So by you brushing it, uh, brushing it out, and you know, dipping it and all that stuff, you cleaning it. So you don't have to, you don't have to do this because when you do that, you cause that, and that becomes nappy, tangled, and you be ready to throw the wig away. So you you don't want to do that. So you still want to just, so you still holding it from where the part is. And you're just brushing it. You're just brushing it. You're not being rough. You're just taking your time, just brushing it. Brushing it out, combing it out, whichever one you want to use. It really don't matter. As long as you're getting it, you know, tangle free. That's all that matters. And you brush it everywhere. And even if you got, um, if you got any type of glue or gel on your lace um i would recommend you using alcohol to get that off first and you know if you can't get all of it off then you can um start using the shampoo and stuff to get it off but i'll show you that in another video i may show you a little bit in this clip but it won't be much because in this wig i think i just used I don't know what I use. I don't know if I just use edge control or I don't know what I use. But I know I didn't use nothing that was too strong. Maybe I just used hairspray or something because it's just coming right off. So maybe that's probably what I use. I didn't use no um, lace adhesive. But that's another thing. If you use like got to be um, glue or spray. You really, I mean, you can use alcohol too, but the second you get it wet is, you can easily just take it off with your finger. But if you use something a little bit stronger, get alcohol or um, you can use our um, Embrace the Paste Lace Remover and it's an oil and it'll help loosen up that glue. So when you wash it, it'll come right out. Like I said, that will be in another video for you. And this wig, on this uh, video, I'm just showing you how to uh, properly wash your wig. This water getting dirty. I know she was dirty, but I didn't know she was that dirty. Right. And then I'm about to, um, I'm gonna rinse this water out and I'm gonna rinse this wig. And then we're gonna follow up with the conditioner. 
So, as y'all see, the water's dirty. Rinse this out a little bit and set this to the side and I'm about to go get my conditioner and put this conditioner into the water and we gonna go from there. This is the conditioner that I'm using. I'm just mixing it up the same thing that I did with the shampoo. Doing the same thing with the conditioner. Because since you just stripped the hair, so it's you know clean, you want to put that moisture back into the cuticles and everything. So when you straighten it, or just when you, if you were to wear it in a ponytail, it don't mat up or it don't become tangled. Because when the hair is tangled, that means that it's dry. So you want to just put that moisture back into the wig. So you're gonna do the same thing. Start at the ends, you know, you can brush it. And then you're just gonna leave it all in there. Make sure all of it is saturated by the, the nape of the neck. Make sure you comb that part out and get all the um, the little mixture into that part a lot because <laughs> that tends to be, you know, where the hair get all nappy and tangled. It starts right there. So make sure you, you know, fully coat that section. And then you can kind of just slightly, um, oh, this hair is getting soft already, but, um, then you can slightly start doing your frontal or your closure part. I would recommend you do those last because, you know, that's at the top of the wig. So everything else is already fully coated. So you just make sure you just brush it or combing it, you know, finger detangling it a little bit. And making sure you are getting that. And what I like to do is... I really like to leave this in here for quite some time. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I literally, I'll be leaving my wigs sometimes overnight, sometimes just for 30 minutes. It all just depends really. Really, I just get sidetracked on doing something else, whether I make another wig or I start another wig or I'm doing something around the house. That's really what it be. I be forgetting, but you know, you just gonna comb it or brush it. I don't know why I keep saying comb and I got a brush in my hand, but you just gonna brush it. And sorry, y'all, I'm left-handed and it's hard to brush on my right hand. I probably should have put the camera on the other side, but work with me, y'all, work with me. And if it looks a little tangled or whatever, you can just dip it back into the water so it can't, and then when you brush it, in a kind of, you know, get a little softer and it ain't looking so nappy or whatever so if you take it out of the water and it look you know a little like it just messed up or it looked tangly you can just dip it back in there and then just brush it back out and then if you want you can um sometimes i do this it just depends if the if i did this and the wig still feels rough then I can, uh, I usually just go back in with the conditioner and I just add it onto the hair. And I just add it onto the hair and I just run it through. I'm still like having it on my wrist or my hand, still where my part will be. I'm still, I still 
have that intact like it ain't i mean it ain't fully defined or nothing it's probably bought it but i still know where it is it ain't lost in the sauce nowhere so i'm just um rubbing it through or running it through with my fingers and then i'm gonna use my brush to kind of detangle it And another thing that I like to do is I like to turn the wig upside down and brush it just to make sure I'm not really forgetting about or neglecting the back part since that's where it usually starts to tangle up first. I want to comb that or brush that upside down just to make sure that I get everything with the conditioner because I don't want to miss any pieces. So I'm gonna just put it right back how it was with my part and then just brush it the other way. So I'm not missing any kinks or tangles or anything. I'm not missing nothing because I have it all under control. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to dip it back in here and I am going to let it sit and I will be back to check on it <laughs> in some time. <laughs> I'll try not to make it wait too long, but I'm going to just let that sit and then, yeah, I'll be back to check on it. Okay, so I let it sit for like 30 minutes or so and I put it on mannequin head and let it air dry. It's still a little bit wet, but this is what it looked like and um yeah so now i just gotta style it and wear it so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for part two thank you